I'm going to demonstrate variations of Simple Interrupted. We'll start with a horizontal mattress. And basically the very first uh, two throws are going to be the two that you do for a Simple Interrupted stitch. Go in one side, come out the other, use the curve of your needle. And depending on the size of your incision and where you're located will determine how far away you are from skin edge. Come in a bit f further away. Now, we are going to need to drive this needle backwards. And so this is the first time we've kind of done that. I'm going to load my needle backwards. And we'll once again go in uh, perpendicular and come out. And then go back in and out. So as you can see, there's nothing extremely complicated. And then you are going to tie. And you see how that helps to evert those skin edges? That's where a horizontal mattress can be helpful. This is also a good stitch when your tissue is under tension, if you've resected portion of the skin for a skin lesion or something like that. But it nicely everts the skin, and that's called a horizontal mattress. Now I'm going to demonstrate a vertical mattress. Start further away from the skin edge, but it's the same as a simple interrupted. You're going to come away further from the skin edge. And this time, you're going to once again need to load your needle uh, backwards, which is a little awkward when you're learning. And you're going to once again, you're going to come in close, but in the same vertical plane that you've been suturing in. You'll re-grab your needle and come back out equidistant on that side. And then you'll tie same way. And once again, this also can help to evert those skin edges. So that is a vertical mattress suture.